Hello, Year Sevens. Um, so I'm going to show you another separating technique now. This is going to be about separating colours. I don't know if you you should have this prac sheet with you. We're going to separate some colours out of food dye, and the prac sheet doesn't say this, but I'm adding it because it's really cool. Food dye, and we're going to separate the colours out of some black textures. Do you think? Like what, what, how many colors do you think makes up a black texture? Do you think it's just black? Or do you think there's more to it? Let's find out. Now, the way we're gonna do this, if you have read the prac sheet, you might have a little bit of an idea. So we're gonna use this paper that's called chromatography paper. And chromatography paper helps us separate out mixtures. So, you know, different mixtures that have solids in them, we can use we can separate out using filter paper and stuff like that um, mixtures with dissolved things in them like solutions sometimes we can separate out with crystallization um, and another way we can separate out mixtures is with chromatography paper so I'll show you the setup okay so I've got a beaker and then I have this chromatography paper that's just kind of hanging off um, an icy pole stick so I, when I put it in the beaker it sits like that and I'm going to put a little bit of water in the bottom of the beaker and the water is going to slowly seep up the paper like that think about like if you are wearing long pants and they get stuck in the mud and you know the, the liquid kind of just crawls up your pants that's like that's like chromatography all right so the way we're going to separate it is get our paper Got some food dye. We want to put, so we're going to try and separate out the colors in the food dye. So to do that, we've got to get some of this food dye on the paper. So I'm just going to use a little toothpick and put a tiny dot there. Might just add a little bit more. There you go. So there's a little dot of food dye on the paper. So then I'm going to put that in the beaker and we'll put a little bit of water in there. But first I'll just set up the other one. So I've got two more pieces of paper and I'm going to try separate out some colors from this connector pen on one. So same deal. I'm going to put a little dot at the bottom. You may have noticed I've drawn a little gray lead line here as well. That's just to kind of um, give me a guide of where to put the dot and then we can measure how far it's traveled so after we've um, soaked water in the bottom of the paper and it's moved up it's going to drag along the texture or the food dye with it and as it drags it along it's going to separate it out and we get to see what's inside and then we want to measure how long the distance is so that's why we've got the um, the line okay so this one is going to be this Crayola I might just write on top Crayola so we know the difference and on this one we've got connector connector pen okay okay so we've got our three little experiments out we've got the Crayola black the connector pen black and green food dye so now I'm just going to pour some water in these you only want enough water so it's touching just touching the bottom of the paper you don't want to, there we go. Just touching. There we go. So now I'm going to leave that for about 20 minutes and we'll come back. Alrighty, so here we have 
the Crayola texture and the connector pen. Look at that. And the green food dye. There you go.